Welcome back. The city of Johannesburg has recently witnessed an increase in electricity outages, of course, that leading to residents voicing out their frustrations by protesting in the streets. To avert unplanned outages, Joburg City Power has launched its winter plan and customers are being offered amnesty for tampering with electricity meters. To talk to us more about this issue, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by Virgil James, who's a Power City, a Johannesburg City Power spokesperson. Good morning to you and thank you so much for, for coming through. Good morning, good morning. Thank you indeed. Let's start with this amnesty. Who is yeah. this amnesty aimed at? Well, the amnesty is aimed largely at residents, people who have tampered with their meters. Okay. And uh, these meters are now deemed to be faulty under the circumstances. So those are illegal connections, that is what you're referring to? In most instances, okay. they are illegal connections. Yeah. So where a seal has been broken, wiring has been uh, removed... Um, in some instances, people are using meters that have been purchased illegally, uh, that were stolen elsewhere. Yeah. And so we are offering amnesty. It's a chance to allow such people to come forth, register with the city of Johannesburg. Obviously, there are eligibility criteria and uh, each will be based on its own merit. Yeah. And we will look at sending out a technician. Mm. Uh, the good thing is... But, but let's talk about the criteria, okay. maybe the basics that you look into yes. um, on that criteria. What do, what do you look into before that amnesty can be granted? We actually look at what is the cause of the meter not functioning properly. Okay. Uh, how long you've been without a meter possibly. If you've made any attempts to report this with the city of Johannesburg or city power... And uh, then uh, we take it from there. There's obviously a discussion. Yeah. But, uh, so it's not a guarantee that everyone will be granted this amnesty. Definitely. You look into certain things. Now, uh, they need to register yes. in order to be granted this amnesty. Yes. At your offices, I That's believe. That's right. All right. Now, let's talk about your winter plan. We, we, we know that uh, the city is very prone to outages, especially in winter time. That's what do right. you have? What's the plan? So our plan has been put together simply because we are aware, as you've correctly indicated, that we're prone to outages. And so we have more resources, material, more technicians, and uh, we've proactively looked at doing repairs and maintenance in areas that we know are usually prone to, yeah. to outages for whatever reason. Even in summer. Even in summer. Your areas like your, our area, Ruedaport, your Linasia, your Midrand yes. and others. Yes. So you've already uh, done your maintenance We've for, for already those stations. and we are continuing on maintenance. That is why we have proactively issued letters to residents where we will be doing such maintenance that is under planned outages, what we call planned outages. This usually takes place during the evening between 10 and 6 in the morning. And uh, we just make sure that the network is able to carry the load. All right. Now, we know that, uh, uh, Mr. James, that some residents have complained that um, they've lost their appliances due to this power outages. How, how do they go about, is there perhaps a way to claim back uh, their money for their appliances that were destroyed during power outages, maybe? At best... Every resident or business should have insurance to cover such issues. When there is an overload and perhaps your appliance blows, uh, this then allows you to claim via your insurance. But it's not my fault as a resident. If it happens, it's the city's fault. Granted, if I don't have that insurance, what happens now? If you do not have the insurance, you are able to deal with city power directly. Oh. So they there is that avenue. There is an yes, avenue. Yes, but it, you, you really need to prove that it is a result mm. of uh, it's city power's fault yeah. somehow. Uh, so it's not just a matter of appearing and saying, I have had this problem due to an outage. We need to look at it for its merits, obviously. All right, but have yes. you come across such claims before? Are people coming forward? Do they even know that there is such an avenue? Yes, they are aware, but largely most use their own insurance yeah. uh, to claim. Um, uh, we are not opposed uh, or in any way unwilling to accommodate people. That is what we do through the correct channels. 
Now, the city also identified cable theft as, as one of the main contributors of these outages. How, how, how do you go about dealing with this? I was reading an article that you're also looking into um, aluminium cables. That's right. Because we have a serious problem and the recent spate of outages have been largely due to cable theft and vandalism. Uh, about 45% of all outages in the city are as a result of cable theft. And so we have to put in measures in place with uh, security agencies, with uh, the South African police services, as well as the Metro Police to patrol certain hotspot areas and uh, just to try and maintain a visibility. But this does not deter criminals mm -hmm. from uh, stealing cables. Yeah. And one of the options we have is to replace stolen copper cables with aluminium cables. Yeah. This has no value to them, yeah. uh, but it's an expensive thing. It cannot be rolled out overnight. Mm -hmm. It's a long uh, process. It's a long process, yeah. but that is the way we are headed. All right. Now, let's talk about the bill, um, the billing glitches that the mayor was even talking about uh, yesterday, that some people or some residents around uh, the city of Johannesburg have not received their bill um, for last month, even for this month. Some have, but it is incorrect. Um, there are glitches on that. How, how, how is this being dealt with? Especially from your side as city power? It's a separate uh, issue. We are normally able to issue correct bills uh, on time. However, as the mayor indicated, we believe that the system was tampered with yeah. and has caused this problem. So yeah. they are investigating. But uh, What happens in the meantime for those who have not received their invoices for this month? What they, happens? Some people are able to go onto the website mm -hmm. and uh, register. That avenue is open for people to register on the website or call in. What do they in register fact, for? They register to receive their accounts mm -hmm. um, electronically rather than having it posted to them. And that helps quite a lot. Mm. But for this uh, instance, they're able to call in and uh, get the current uh, account. Alternatively, we're also encouraging them to pay what they normally pay each month so that they don't fall into arrears instead of waiting until yeah. they finally get an account. Do you perhaps know how long the situation will take to be resolved maybe because some people are worried that they, they have received huge bills instead of their you know, normal bills? No, they're currently working on it. They're working on yes, it. Yes, definitely. So it shouldn't be something that is going to be uh, outstanding for quite a while. All right. Yes. But in the meantime, they should continue they to pay should, the amount. We encourage them to do. pay what they normally pay each month. All right. Mr. James, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you very through. much for Thank having me. Thank you very much. Virgil James is uh, the Joburg City Power spokesperson talking to us about the city's plan for winter outages. He's mentioned quite a few things. I believe that uh, we'll wait and see how things go.